Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over how to reconcile your account in George's budget for Excel. And this is another great feature of the software. So this is a sample checking account, which was opened at the beginning of the year with a $4,000 salary deposit. So up top here, there's some tools to help you with reconciliation. The total outstanding are nine items for a total amount of $7,000. The total register balance is 7,000, which is this last item in the running balance column. And the total cleared is zero. So the way you mark an item as reconciled is you just put an R in the rec column there. Once you do that, a green check mark will appear in this cleared column. And I use reconciled and cleared the same in the software. If an item is blank in this rec column, it will have an exclamation point in this cleared column, which means it hasn't been reconciled or cleared. So right now everything is outstanding. And let's say that we're gonna do our reconciliation now with our bank statement, or we can go online at any point and start matching them up. So let's say that this first item right here, the salary deposit of $4,000 has been cleared on our bank. So we're gonna put an R there. You notice to the right here, you're gonna have a green check mark now. Below that, there's several purchases. So let's say that these purchases here came through. And as I mark these as an R, you'll notice that the check marks appear and up top, the amounts will adjust. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark a couple more here. Now this next item here is a split transaction. Over to the right here, all of those three items are part of a split group. That's split group number one. That number is automatically assigned by the software so that you know that they're all part of one transaction. And that is the main split transaction for the total amount of purchase at Costco, which was $200. And below that are the split details, which was $150 assigned to the groceries category and $50 assigned to pet care. So when you do your reconciliation, all you need to do is put an R next to the total amount. And you can see to the right here in the clear column, the green check mark appears. So let's go ahead and mark these couple more items here as cleared. Okay, so we look up top here, it says total outstanding. Now we just have one item outstanding for $100. And that's this last item right here that we haven't put an R next to for State Farm for $100. The register balance is still $7,000 because we haven't added, deleted, or changed any of the transactions. And the total cleared is now 7,100 because we marked several of these items as cleared. So over to the right here, I wanna show you a couple more tools just by clicking filter, show outstanding. It's going to hide all the transactions that have been cleared and just show you the outstanding item, which is that one item here at State Farm, which matches up with the one item up top here for $100. You could also click this button here to show just the cleared items. So now the register just shows the items that have been marked with an R in the rec column and have the green check marks. At the bottom here is a total 7,100 of those items. If you look up top, total cleared 7,100. So it matches perfectly with that. If you want to show all your transactions again, just click clear all filters. And now all of your transactions are visible in the register. So up top here, just one item is outstanding, which is this last transaction. Let's go ahead and say that we match that off with the bank and it's now cleared. So we're going to go ahead and put an R there over to the right. It has a check mark now. So if you look up top, there's zero items outstanding for a total amount of zero. The register balance is 7,000 and that equals our total clear of 7,000. If you look at the register, everything has an R in it in the rec column. And if you look over to the right here, there's no more exclamation points left. Everything now has a green check mark indicating that it's been cleared with the exception of these two items here, which are the split details. But the main split transaction right there has been marked with a green check mark. Last thing I wanted to mention are these indicator lights here. The green indicator lights means that the amount is a positive amount. And in the case of a checkbook, those are inflows, like a salary deposit. These red indicator lights indicate that the amount is a negative amount. And in the case of a checking account, those are outflows or purchases. And the yellow indicator light indicates that the amount is zero. So that's another awesome tool of Georgia's budget for Excel to help make your life easier when you're reconciling your account.